What's up everybody, Rylar here, continuing our playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Before we begin, give us a like and subscribe down below. Let us know in the comments what you like so far, what you'd like to see in the future. And we're going to jump right on in. Alright, so last time we completed this sky, the great sky, this great sky Island. And now we are headed to Hyrule down below. So here we go, we're going to jump right off. And there's a couple pools of water we can drop into, but we gotta go to that area just below where the Hyrule Town is. Because that's where it was showing us just before in the in the clip before. Cool. We have made it down to Hyrule. Hyrule Kingdom. Here we go. We are on our way. We've got full freedom. The only thing that I noticed that we don't have yet is our paraglider. Oh, look. There's some there's some Bokoblins. Okay, so I know that I probably pronounce it a lot different than a lot, a lot of people. I know a lot of people call those uh, things bokoblins, but I've always found I've always felt like bokoblin kind of rolls off the tongue easier. So and I just I just I, even if it's wrong, that's just what I've always called it. So I'm just gonna keep calling it that. Um, so yeah, if you guys. Yeah, I, I pronounce a lot of the names a little differently just because that's how they they sound to me or how they sh they look. So, and look, there is a, a bloopy or a bloop bloopy. I think it's what it's called. Oh, I actually have to I have to pick up the rupees this time. I can't. Oh, look, there's a cave. Oh. Whoa, what the crap is that? What is that? Horriblin. A horriblin. Oh, man. So there's a lot of new creatures down here. Ones that we've probably never seen before, so. My question is, how do I get up top of there? There we go. A bright cap. And there's a there's like big boko blins now. All right, let's see. We're supposed to go I think to that I don't know where. It's got to be over here somewhere. Keep running out of uh, stamina, so more fire fruit. Oh, what's this? So I have my biggest question is. How long has it been since the previous game, since Breath of the Wild, and how long has it been since we went underground with Zelda to find Ganondorf? Link, Mr. Link, is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. 
And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pura has barely slipped. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're all right. Lookout landing. Okay, so this is a whole new settlement, it looks like. I don't believe it. We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pura first and foremost. She's up in her research lab. That's on the north side of the fort, up on the second floor. Alright, well, let's go talk to Pura. Oh, look, here's Robbie. Oh, what an excellent night. Hey, hey you, where have you been? Robbie, head of Pura Pad Development. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been a tizzy. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with a telescope. All right, let's go talk to Pura because it seems like everyone's just gonna tell us that. So Robbie was in Breath of the Wild too. Uh, he was. Uh, uh, he, he helped you develop like armor and weapons and stuff. That hair, those eyes. Da da doc. Doctor Pura? <laughs> no. The swordsman, the swordsman has returned. Oh, hey. Okay. Now where have you been? Pura is back almost back to her normal Wait, self, it looks like. You're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Step at a time. What exactly happened? Pura, head of Lookout Landing. So in Breath of the Wild, she was a little kid because of some kind of scientific mistake. But now it looks like she's kind of back to normal. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then later you wake up on a sky island saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Raru. The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. You know, I didn't even catch that the Master Sword disappeared. I need to check my inventory. What? Then... What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru you met, you think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named? Hmm. Are they the one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to, to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the search party up by Ca Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, 
which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. <laughs> Ooh, character profiles. That's cool. That'll be very useful if I ever need to go back and find out who... Oh, and look, it included the picture of Pura as a kid from Breath of the Wild. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Um, before we go to Hyrule Castle, let's uh, explore a little bit. Let's come up here. There's so much new things down here. So many new things, so let's come take a look. It's a telescope, so... Uh, there's not much to, to look at right there with the castle. When do I get my paraglider? Well, let's just jump down here and we'll just head to the castle and take a look and see what's going on. Let's see what these guys have to say. It's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends. And now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Yeah, it sure is. But it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Well, Pura is investigating the upheaval, so she's certain it'll prove clues about Princess Zelda. Provide clues. Uh, but progress isn't great, I've heard. Is the princess alright, wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares about them at a time like this? Zonai... They're investigating the Zonai ruins, I guess, that fell? And look, there's a shrine right there. It's nice coming into... Hyrule Castle Town and not having to worry about uh, guardians. <laughs> Speaking of, I wonder what happened to all the guardians after I beat Breath of the Wild. Like, did they get rid of them or, or what? Cryonis Shrine. Wow, you scared me. What are you doing at such an hour? The ca Hyrule Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous, too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. What with the upheaval? Watch your back. More like chasms. You know, the creepy opening in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members of the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the chasm. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the news landed in the newspaper. <laughs> Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. What was smack on the front page, you know? So far, we know... Uh, they're from the Age of Legends, but did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just where are they anyway? Ah. Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasm, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all of the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary, so we need to investigate them <laughs> pronto. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Alright, well, we've got a shrine. Why don't we go ahead and, and do the shrine? Usually these are, are pretty quick. Cryonis Shrine.
Man, the, the loading times are a lot faster in this than they were in Breath of the Wild. Combat training. Cryona Shrine. Uh oh. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here. Heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. So target and you can strafe and then jump while strafing. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, first I'm going to get a different weapon. How can you... I wonder... Dang it. My shield broke. I... Okay. So this is teaching us how to do the, the flurry rush stuff. Okay, do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike. So backpedal and jump. There we go. You just gotta time it all right. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Uh, except for I don't have a shield. Oh wait, here's a shield. There we go. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. So press and hold Y. Your master of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Sweet. Uh, let me take a look at my weapons here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop these ones and grab this one. Grab the chest. A Zonite Sword. Visitor to this shrine visitor to this shrine of light which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Oh well. Light of Blessing. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. All right, so let's go ahead and head out, and we'll, we'll now we'll head over to the the chasm right there by Hyrule Castle and see if we can find that guy. I think his name was Haas. Hyrule Castle Town Ruins.
Uh, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come <laughs> wandering in here like that. Link, it's you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need a search party anymore? Huh, you should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. So we're on our way, we've got to get to the first gatehouse. It's pretty close, it looks like. Right here, I'm guessing. Link, no, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. You should go to the first gate. Oh, so this isn't the gatehouse. So it's all the way up here. Man, this takes a long time. I'm going to come look inside here and see what's going on. Alright, let's come in here and see if we can find Hawes. First gatehouse. Uh, Purpin. Nope, it's not Hawes. Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there's any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. Oh. Hey, that's a, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Oh. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Well... Where? Do I have to go up? Is he up there? I'm guessing. Let's talk to this guy. He's too busy, I guess. Did you come here to look, help look for Princess Zelda? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help, anyway. But the captain is way up on the top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use the materials cash for all of your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Oh. Alright, let's see if we come up here. See that high? I wonder. We'll just climb the building, I guess. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive. And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you? And you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm really to see you come up here and help us out though. We need some good new we needed some good news. 
The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Hmm? Princess Zelda, she's safe? Um... Uh-oh. Wait, what? <laughs> you saw that too, Link. You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This this is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Well, can I just I'm gonna fast travel to this and I'll just quickly go back to Pura. So I wonder if this one, unlike Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild was very story driven, but in a di very different way. It was more exploration, but I think this one is going to have much, much more story than Breath of the Wild did, based off of a lot of these events. Because, like, we're already into this game quite a bit, and we haven't even... Traveler's Claymore. We, we haven't even scratch the surface of the story yet so like there's tons of questions uh like the zonai obviously like who are the zonai because that's still a big mystery we've only met raru who also shares a name of the sage from ocarina of time so there's that uh what happened with Ganondorf slash the mummy because we don't really know that that's his name yet but I'm guessing that's his name um and where's Zelda and what kind of state is the world in now even though we've beaten Breath of the Wild Pose? Are we going to see Poe ghosts in this one? Alright. Link, well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues and where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you've still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at the overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing, and for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. So these are going to replace the Sheikah Towers. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just hang on tight. 
In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, mm -hmm. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right uh, where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, you should go to Mub's shop. I'll be over by Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. Alright, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. <laughs> Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc, you can count on me. When am I going to get my paraglider? First off, let's go get some clothing or some... Hey. hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? The only place to shop here it looks in Lookout Landing. I know it's a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place here. Okay, so let's see. By mo type by fused attack by most used. Okay, we'll organize by type. Okay, so let's get rid of... I know we'll probably use some of these later, but I found that just getting rid of your gems is the best. Or the Not gems, the... Special... The, these special rocks. <laughs> okay. Get rid of those. Anything else? Uh, no. I think that's good for now. Let's see how much... Oh man, that's a lot. Oh well, we'll just keep... Oh, I want the trousers at least. Let's see, can we sell anything else? <laughs> Horrible and claw. Guess I can. No, eh, I don't want to sell those. I'll sell this like like stone. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to sell them all. <laughs> Just one. Okay. Okay, so let's get the trousers first. Okay, so we'll do that. That's that's all right. And we don't need anything else, I think, for now. So let's go ahead and head over here. I don't think we need to rest or anything. So let's just go talk to Pura and get started on that. Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Uh. Hey, Link, you're all set. I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. They're using a lot of the ancient Sheikah technology from the first game.
All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go hold the Pura Pad over that terminal. Okay, so that activates the fast travel point. Oh, is this is this going to shoot me up? Huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Pura Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Purpad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Pretty great, hmm? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here has had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. About time. Got a paraglider. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Now, it's time for our very first test launch, I mean. Our first test, just step over there onto the circle and find me afterward, alright? I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has uh, wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Uh oh. So, I'm going to get shot into the air, and I have to scan. Interesting. <laughs> Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Okay, so now I can... I can just glide. We finally have the paraglider and we can look at all the stuff that we can go to there's so much now is there's so much up here we'll just go ahead and dive right down since we got to go meet with pura so i wonder if i can continue to use that and get to places Um, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> I was supposed to, I tried pulling out my glider, but I did it a little too late, so. <laughs> now you see what happens when you fall from a really high place. Oh, do I have to do that all again? Looks like it. Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead since we've already seen this. Okay, we are back after that little detour just because I had to redo that. So let's go talk to Pura here. Uh -huh. 
Welcome back. That was a good. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. We'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden in the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lineru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Um. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Heber recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with uh, the editor. I'm sure she could help, help out some way, too. I'll be there. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that uh, are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. <sighs> All right. Crisis Hyrule Castle. So let's take a look at our. All right. So regional phenomena. Okay. So we got main thing now is just go to those four different regions, which are basically some of the same regions that we had issues with in the first game. So. Oh look, there's a there's a Rito. Ah. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around in the sky. It's great to meet a first meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Mm. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you've got the same name as that famous swordsman, huh? Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Penn. By the way, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I better get to work. Our newspaper is uh, is short on staff, so we've so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. We you should join us. Seems like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, so soar long. Alright. That was actually a different Rito than we've seen before. The Most of the Rito have been around the same kind of eagle looking things. Um, except for Cass who was a parrot. So. Alright, well let's go ahead and start adventuring. Um, and you can change map layers too. So, it looks like there's not a whole lot of sky islands in this central area. Just this one and then these small ones. See, and there's a that must be one of the chasms that they're talking about. 
adventure log. Let's do... So let's head to Rito Village. Um, which, if I correct, it's somewhere... I think it's... I think this one's here. So I think it's... Uh, this one. This way. Oh! Hi, tell. Oh! There was a lizard and it got away. Well, let me put up fuse, because I might want to end up fusing some. fusing some weapons. There is a cave. Should we explore it? Oh. This one has some horror blends in it. Maybe we should hold off, because I don't know if I'm strong enough, and my weapons aren't that great yet. Let's make our way this way. This game's going to have a lot of exploring and all that. And there's shrines, too, to go explore. I wonder if it has uh, the same, like, Hinox and uh, Stone Talus. So we've got ourselves a Boca Blin. Got a Boca Blin horn. They got different horns that they did in the first than they did in the first one too. Okay, there's something I want to try since we have. Uh, We are going to try... Oh, darn it. There we go. Put it down. So, let's do this. I want to make... Let's not do that one. Let's do this one instead. So I saw that you could do this in the trailer, and so I really want to give it a try. Come on. That's the way. There we go. Now I want to do this. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Uh, 
it's not working. Come on, let's work with me here. There we go. We have made ourselves a wagon. Sweet. Now, there's no steering, so <laughs> does it even really work that w it doesn't even work that well. Oh well. Hey, that was cool. That was fun. See, and that's the stuff that you can do in this game. Like you can just kind of create whatever pops into your head. Oh my heck, what is that? That is new. Okay, it's a tree. So, fire. Ah! I don't know what this tree wants from me. Mount Gustav Well. A well. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, well let's first come grab this bomb. Okay, so there are... like-likes. Oh shoot. The wooden stick was stolen. Of course. I wish I could throw bombs. Where do the bombs go? Here they are. No. Zonite powered. I gotta figure out how to because I'm running out of I'm running out of Oh, okay. You know what I'll do? Okay. 
Did it eat the it ate the bomb. There we go. Got more arrows. There we go. Zonite sword broken. Okay, so it dropped a chest, and there's also something in the water that I didn't see before. Got a shield. Got another shield. So there's something glowing in the water here. Glowing cave fish. Um, let's pull out our fuse and equip it with this. Oh, what's that? Oh, it disappeared. Dang it. Let's equip this one with a rock, too. Do some more damage that way. Alright, and so I think that's... Is there anything else in here? I don't see anything else other than those like-likes, so... I think that's it. All right, well, let's go ahead and use our Ascend ability. And we can get out of this well. Cool. That's really awesome. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and end it there. Thank you so much for joining us. On our next video, we will continue on toward Rito Village. And we will see you guys next time. What's up everybody, Rylar here. Thank you so much for watching our video for The Legends of Zelda Tears in the Kingdom. If you like this video and you want to see more, give us a like and subscribe down below. Also, let us know in the comments what you like and what you'd like to see in the future. Also, share this video with your family and friends. The more people that come to the channel, the more we can build it up and bring you more great content. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.